back to my channel, it's Bailey, and today's video, it was going to be a Star Stable video, and it still is, but I didn't really know what to do for it, because as you guys know, I missed a posting day, and by the time you're watching this, hopefully, um, the Tessa's Life episode 3 is out for you guys to watch, but today's video is going to be a little training, and just talking about stuff going on in my life and also talking about upcoming videos I have planned not trying to spoil too much but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it okay so if I sound a little bit stuffy it's because I um I have a really plugged nose lately these last couple of days so please just ignore that um but uh -huh, yeah okay we're not gonna, maybe we should train, sweetheart. Do you guys think we should train Layla? Or you guys think we should train Coffee Bean? Or Sugar Cube? Or Chip Ace? Hmm, who should we train today for the video? Please just ignore my nose, okay? I know it's annoying. I can't really... Um, I was just telling my friend that I'm filming right now. Mm, who should we train? Hmm. What level is Sugar Cube? Also, we get five days free stable care. Yes, awesome. But let's see. Level nine. Hmm. I think we'll train Layla. And then... Bam. Um, Actually, let's train Coffee Bean and give him a shot. Because I haven't trained him any. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, oh, wow. That looks really interesting. As you guys know, if you're new and you don't know, I bought this horse a um, couple weeks or actually a couple months ago. And it's a really cute horse. I love him. One of my friends, no, not one of my friends, someone in the game said that he's not very cute, but I think Coffee Bean's adorable. And if you hear that, that's my mom. She literally sings so loud in the morning. You know what's really funny is I have a mango shake right here, literally in this cup. I know it's in a McDonald's cup, but it's like, um, it is a mango shake, okay? <laughs> but, um, I have that because for some reason it seems like it's helping my nose. Which is strange, because that shouldn't be, but it actually is. So, maybe that's a pro tip, because I kind of sound a little bit better, but not really. One second. I have to take a sip of my delicious drink. I love mango shakes, they're my favorite. Astrid would know, because I told her, and we are literally the same, because she loves them too. <coughs> now my throat, what the heck? Okay, let's go train. Coffee Bean for the very first time. We're not going to do too many races because I like to train with Astrid sometimes. So we're going to see what we can do. Okay, so first topic, we're going to start off with Marvel because I watched Civil War last night. And I mean, by the time you're watching this, yeah, actually, I did watch it last night. And it was so good. It was so interesting, yet very tense. And also, we're going to do some daily quest as well, but also collect bottles. Also, this is my outfit. Kind of cute. I don't know. But it was really intense. I don't know how to describe it, but it was really interesting. Um, about three people died, maybe even more. I probably wasn't paying attention because halfway through the movie, I was texting Astrid, telling her I was watching the movie. So that's a delight. Um, I could have missed another killing, and I don't even know it. Probably did. But it was a really interesting movie. If you haven't seen it yet, I won't say anything. Um, Astrid hasn't seen it, but it, it's really good. I kind of came for it because I wanted to see what it was all about. Because some people said it was a pretty good movie. And, um... Peter was also in it. He doesn't have a big role in it. But it was really fun to see him, like, fight for the first time. Because that's when we um, first met him. And... It was just really interesting, so I know this is, like, not new information, because you guys have probably already watched Civil War. If, again, if you haven't, 
and you don't know what Marvel is, have you been living under a rock? Because I've been living under a rock for a while, and now I finally, like, literally watched Spider-Man, and now I'm addicted to Marvel movies, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I really liked it, but <laughs> the only part I didn't like was when, um, Bucky killed, um, you know, Mr. Shark's parents. I didn't like that part very much. And I also didn't like the part where um, we found a dead body in... Okay, I'm, I'm going to say enough. Because if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to say anything. But I, I guess I can say that all we found was like Bucky was like possessed or something. Or like taken captured. I don't know what you'd call it. Because I have no words. But there's this just this one killing scene in the movie that just shook. I was so scared I had to open my door because I was like yeah, I'm gonna open my door a little bit because I don't know I don't I don't like the feeling about this <laughs> so I opened my door and it was really good um Peter's part wasn't that big and that's okay uh. I really kind of just came there to see what the movie was about but mostly the Spider-Man thing because I wanted to see like this was the first movie that we were going to meet spider-man and i thought that was really interesting so i was like you know what let's watch it and hi sugar cube <laughs> but yeah i literally just thought you know what let's watch it and when it got to um the part in the movie where peter came out um you know when they went to queens like how it cuts and then it goes to queens i literally was so excited because i was like we're gonna meet peter for the first time and we did and it was so special so i love peter as you know peter parker oh my goodness astrid noble river i have a friend named astrid jewel web okay there you go yeah let's do that okay so maybe um, my magic isn't helping my plug nose because I do not sound that good. But it could be because I just like woke up two hours ago, but that's probably not it. Because by the time you're watching this now, I probably feel okay. Because I feel pretty good today. I haven't felt pretty good the last couple days. And to be honest, I don't, like I literally told Astrid this. Like I never feel good lately. Like, I never do, and it, it's kind of buggy. It ruins, like, the whole entire day just because I don't feel good. <laughs> but hopefully I can move past that soon, hopefully. I mean, it is becoming summer, so actually, no, I'm not going to get better because I have the biggest allergies in the summer. So that's going to be fun. Oh, Coffee Bean, you can do this. I'm worried. Can he make the jump? Oh, shoot. I almost swore. Oops. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My best friend just texted me. Astrid. <laughs> She's watching this and she knows that we have to film um, Fire Crystal tonight. <laughs> Hopefully this video will be out by 2 o'clock. Um, cause I'm gonna be gone at two. I have to go somewhere today. So I was, I literally thought this morning, I was like, hey mom, I'm gonna go film a video cause I have to do like school, you know? So she let me, she decided, you know what, you can go ahead and film your video, it's fine. So I'm filming <laughs> and I'm happy. Oh, Crystal just logged on. Did she log off? She did, oh wow. Oh, does, wait, does that say the new Baroness? It does, it says the Baroness Championship. That's so cool. I know I can't participate in it, but that is so cool. I love that. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, the Fjord Horse and the Clydesdales are on sale, and the Clydesdale is 450 and the Fjord Horse is 550 Which one do you guys think I should get? Or should I not get any of them? This is kind of... I'm going to ask Astra this question. Because I want to... Ooh, yay! Coffee Bean went up a level. Good boy. You are such a good boy. Even though you're a little bit of a weird horse. I love you. Um, this is literally Astra's pick. Do you think I should get... 
a Clydesdale or a Fjord horse. Because they're on sale and I would love to have one actually. Wait. You think one of the Clydesdales are like on sale in the horse app? Because if they are, that'd be really cool. I've never bought a horse from the horse app yet. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there is this Yorvik pony that I have in mind that I'm going to bring soon because it's only 350. I haven't even named it yet, though, because I forgot the name. But where are we going again? Oh my gosh. So hopefully this training video won't be super long because I still have to make the thumbnail for today's video. And I also still have to make a thumbnail for the Tessa's Life episode. And then I gotta edit both of them and hopefully they will be out on time. If they're not, it's gonna be bad. But it's okay. I'm going to try to make this as short as I can, but like long as I can still. Because I like my videos to be like long, but like not too long. If you know what I mean. <laughs> you probably don't. But what I mean by that is the video is gonna at least be 17 to 18 to 16 minutes long. To 16, 17, and 18 minutes long. Because. Um, I have to hurry this up so I can edit it and then, um, make thumbnails. Because I have to hurry up with this whole thing. You know, a mango shake, it kind of clears your throat, but doesn't clear your nose. I wish it did that. <laughs> oh, are there any bottles up here by chance? My friend Chris Bell has a horse just like this, and she named hers Coffee Air, but you guys know the story behind that, so I'm not gonna tell you it again. Are there any bottles up here? Oh, there's a few, there's like two. That's good. I really wish I could go to Silver Glen, because I had a lot of quest videos to do, and I don't know if I'll be able to do them, but they do have a 14 free day, like, Star Rider trial, but again, if I were to buy it, it wouldn't work. So I don't know what to do. It kind of makes me upset. Because I'm kind of jealous that a lot of my friends have Star Rider, and that is not including Astrid. I would care less. But she's my best friend. And I know she just has Star Rider because, you know, her parents got her it. And my mom, on the other hand, <laughs> this isn't what the game is about. So. It's kind of up to me if I want to buy it or not. But, you know, that's me. <laughs> Maybe this video will be even shorter because I don't know what to talk about anymore. Ooh, can we talk about the fact that I haven't seen the episode yet. I hopefully will later. But can we talk about the fact that in Danger Force, Dr. Minyak is back? Like, can we talk about that? Because I was so shook. I open my Instagram one morning and get a trailer, and it's like, Dr. Mignac is back. And I'm like, what? He has been gone for, like, since season four of Henry Danger. And it's been how long? A couple years, I think. I don't know. How many years has it been? Let's see. When did season um, four come out? I don't remember, but... It was it was a shock. I was really shook because I was like, what? Dr. Maniac back? No way. I thought it was fake. It was not fake. Turns out it was real. And that I think that's tomorrow. I think that was yesterday's episode. Because by the time you guys are watching this, um, you guys probably already watched it. Or if I have an older audience watching my videos... Um, then you probably wouldn't know what I'm talking about. It's a TV show on Nickelodeon. Literally greatest, um, superhero kids TV show ever. Literally, it's so good. Next to Thundermans, of course, because we love Thundermans. It's a great show. But, um, yeah, I think I might end this one a little bit. Because I don't know what to talk about. And my nose, I meant to say my nose is, like, really plugged. And my throat is like a little bit bothering me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here uh, in a little. We're going to do one more race and then we're going to go ahead and end it. Because I have to talk about something really quickly. But really though, 
Like, were you guys expecting Dr. Maniac to come back, or you were you expecting another villain to come back? I mean, we've already had Frankini and, you know, the toddler, and obviously Jeff, and uh, who else? Who else did Captain... Who else did Kid Danger um, fight? And who else did Captain Man fight? Um, I can't think of his name. Oh, um, Drill Finger. I think he's in jail, although... <laughs> Also Drex, but he's already been in there, and like, he's scary. We do not like him. But he's a, he's a really good actress. But I just don't like him playing Drex because I don't I don't like Drex. I like superheroes, not villains. But the toddler and Frankini are just up there, okay? <laughs> By up there, I mean I love them. They're amazing actors and play really good villains. So yeah, I think I'm going to actually go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's a little short, but I have to hurry this up so I can edit it. And then, um, so that way I only have one long video to edit. Because, um, Tessa's life episode is only, I think, 20 to 21 minutes long. That's how long I made it. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully that will be my only long video today. And um, then this one. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye! Bye.